SUV is electric. Is, is that right? Uh, do you intend to switch to an electric vehicle? And at what point? If we, if we can find something that would fit what is needed based on the security detail, I would love to. But my security detail is solely in the hands of Intel and the NYPD. If we can find it, I would love to. I would like to join my girl. She switched from electric, <laughs> you know, from gas to electric. We would love to. Our goal is to have a 100% city fleet, including uh, the, the vehicles that we drive. And we're gonna we're gonna look into that because I want to leave from the front. Yes. Uh, so this is maybe a question best to ask to the commissioner. But of the eighty thousand FHE licenses that are out there, about ten thousand are owned by three companies. At this point. There's a major leasing problem among the drivers. Um, the past, I think, two thousand uh, EV licenses that were opened up, some were earmarked for individual drivers, not for large companies. Uh, can you talk a bit about how many licenses are going to be opened up as part of this? And uh, so uh, the mayor announced today that there is going to be uh, an EV exemption. What that means is that now drivers are not going to be, uh, you know, beholden to a predatory lease. Now they can uh, own their own small business, uh, and then they can also have a pathway to the middle class. That you know that vehicles are important, and if you're putting three hundred plus dollars towards a weekly lease. That's uh, money out of your pocket. And so we want to put more money into drivers' pockets. Yeah, so uh, if a driver, if an individual driver or, uh, uh, or anyone else would like one of these licenses, they would apply uh, starting tomorrow. They would need a vehicle, uh, and then they would be able to uh, get a license. Uh, and that goes uh, as well for wheelchair-accessible vehicles. And that uh, has always uh, been open uh, for, uh, for vehicle licenses.